Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome, we are in Mayonnaise Press Print Shop. This is um, a letterpress print shop. It is an industry of the Lighthouse Works, which is a nonprofit arts organization that Nate and I founded in 2011 and that we run together on Fisher's Island. So we're preparing to print on the Vandercook, which is our larger proof press. A guy who has a, or whose family has a house on the island had a print shop in Stonington, Connecticut, which is really nearby. And um, he knew that I was looking for one of these and had two presses and a bunch of type that he wanted to donate and he gave us all of this. We have to actually physically mix the colors. And this color that we're gonna do is like 75% yellow, 25% green. So you're eyeballing it? Eyeballing it completely. Okay. So this, yeah. is, this is like an old chef, you know, a pinch of this, a pinch of that? Exactly. Like everything else about letterpress printing, it's time consuming and not precise. <laughs> but that's part of the charm. Why um, go this route? Because it has that handmade feeling. So. Um, when you print something, you can actually feel the embossment, it embosses into the paper. Um, our stuff is just a little more special and a little more unique than what you could print digitally, and people value that. So this is, um, is a letterpress form. You set the type in, and you want everything to be really tight, so when you do this, you don't want the letters to wiggle because they'll blur the impression as it goes through the press. Yeah, we get a lot of people saying, I did this in high school, or like, I did this when I was a kid, um, and a lot of younger people just don't understand it at all. They like can't process what it is. Like surely there must have been a computer involved somewhere in this process. So yeah, people are usually really excited. So um, you turn it on and basically there's a metal drum under here that spins. So you know that you're ready when it's, uh, it looks evenly inked? Covered. Yeah. Evenly covered. Yeah. And then you turn this. The rollers are just going to roll over the form. I'll check it to make sure all the letters are actually getting inked. Often there will be one or two stubborn letters that are higher or lower than the rest of the form. They don't move properly. The paper goes into the group first. Hold on to your paper. Come on through. And have a print. Not a great one. <laughs> oh. So we've got like a little low ink on a letter. What you're seeing is the process of how letterpress works, which is you take your first proof, the alignment is off, the paper isn't the right size, something is like, this is what's called um, an impression slur. So it's, it's printed and then it's moved a little bit and it's printed again. And it's also too light. So what we're gonna have to do is figure out how we can get enough ink on those letters, reprint, make sure we get our alignment, reprint, um, and keep going until you get it perfect. Usually people are really happy with the way this looks, the fact that it's unique, the fact that maybe it's not exactly, exactly perfect, and the fact that they can feel the impression. Sometimes somebody will be like, you know, one time you printed um, business cards for someone and she said, these aren't all exactly the same. <laughs> and I was like, well, yeah, they're handmade. Of course they're not the same. And this is how Gutenberg made the first Bible. So if you can imagine the number of pages and the number of letters, this is how all books were made for hundreds of years. So you have to sort of say, this is special, this is different.